What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be finally doing my unboxing for my Ottawa Senators mystery bag. This just came in the mail today. I'm pretty excited to see what is inside. Now I got this from the Ottawa Senators Foundation. They were selling these for $40 plus shipping and it is, I think you get three autographed items from current and former Ottawa Senators players. And that can be anything from pictures, pucks, hats, and different memorabilia. So I'm really excited to see what I got in mine. Because as you guys know, I'm a huge Ottawa Senators fan. And I wanted to grow my collection. So the cool thing is it actually came in a bag. I didn't think they were going to. I thought they were going to just ship everything in a box. But it actually got shipped in a bag. Of course, it was in a bubble mailer. They didn't just ship this in the mail. Um, so it came in a bubble mailer. But... I'm just going to open it up now and see what's inside. And I'm hoping, before I look inside, I'm not 100% familiar with all of the former players for the Ottawa Senators. And if it's just an item that is just autographed, I'm definitely not going to be familiar with everybody's autograph. So I'm hoping there's something in here that basically tells you who everybody is that signed your items. I'm hoping they did something like that because that would make a lot more sense and make this video a lot more easier. So let's just grab the first item here. And uh, first item is a hockey stick, one of their mini hockey sticks. And it actually states who signed it on the back here. So this is Colin White. So a Colin White autographed mini stick. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put this on display. I have to figure out how, maybe on my wall. Um, but that's pretty cool. I do like that. Especially getting a, a young player like that. That's awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. So I think that looks pretty cool. Signature looks awesome on that. So I'm pretty happy with the first item. Next uh, is an envelope. And we'll see what is in here. Okay, so it is a thank you letter straight from the Ottawa Senators Foundation. So that's pretty cool. And then we have a few cards. So a Bobby Ryan card. Now this isn't like a hockey card or anything. It's just a, uh, a card that they printed with a little bit of this information on the back. Okay, cool. They actually give you the certificate of authenticity, but before I go through these, I'm assuming that's going to spoil what's in the bag or what's left in the bag, so I'm just going to grab those items out first. So, uh, the next item here is an autographed hockey puck, and it is, oh cool, Clark MacArthur. So that's very interesting. I like how they actually used a white slash silver marker. The autographed puck that I have upstairs, Chris Phillips signed. I think I shared that in a video as well. But he had a black marker at the time and he signed my black puck. So it's not as noticeable that it is an autograph. You can see it on the Ottawa Senators logo. But this here is awesome. I do like that. It looks pretty cool. You can obviously see that it is signed. And the fact that it tells you Clark MacArthur on the top. That's pretty cool. I am a fan of his. I like that he is back in the organization in some way, shape, or form. I think he's training or help. I think he's helping train some of the younger guys. And I think that is awesome. The fact that he is back at least helping after having all of his injuries before and having to pretty much retire. So a Clark MacArthur signed puck. And then looks like we have a hat. We have two hats. Okay, so they advertise that you'll get three autographed items, and then after that, you might get a couple items that are unsigned. So you might get a hat or a puck or a mini stick or something that is unsigned, just additional memorabilia for yourself. But I actually got four autographed items. So the first hat that I have is a autographed one for Jonathan Chichu. So that's pretty pretty cool. I do like how it's white. It makes the autograph pop a little bit more, I find. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen these ones in the store, but if you've noticed getting an actual hockey team's hat, especially from their store in their arena, they are usually what I believe to be like 30 bucks, roughly. 
So this whole thing cost me $40 plus shipping. So that is roughly $55. And to get not only one, but two autographed hats in it, I think I definitely got the values worth, but I do have one hat left. Oh, that's cool. I already have a couple items signed from him. I had them signed in person, but this is an autographed Mark Stone hat. And I know it's Mark Stone signed because his signature is pretty iconic in my opinion, because I do have a couple things in my collection that are signed by him. So I do remember his signature. So that is pretty cool. The only thing that sucks is the fact that he's not part of the Sens anymore but have an autographed piece from him once again in my collection, adding another one to my collection. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it is just the red one, so it doesn't pop as much, but you can tell that it is signed. And it also does say it has a sticker as well, saying Mark Stone. So that is awesome. I ended up getting four autographed items out of the Sens Foundation mystery bag, which is pretty cool. I seen this a couple weeks ago on, I believe, Facebook, where they're sharing it and announcing it. And for $40 to have the opportunity to get three autographed items, I thought was really cool and was gonna help me grow my collection. The fact that I got four, in my opinion, is awesome. And I'm really impressed that they sent actually four items. And the certificate of authenticity for each item is awesome. So there is one for the Mark Stone ball cap, one for the Jonathan Chichu ball cap, the Clark MacArthur puck, and the Colin White mini sticks. So that's pretty cool that I got four pieces and I got, I wasn't even expecting a certificate of authenticity for them. It makes sense why they sent those, but honestly, I was not expecting that. So that's pretty cool. It helped grow my collection. Honestly, I would say the puck and the mini stick are my favorite because the hats in my room for my collection are going to be harder to display them. They're still pretty cool and I'm really happy that I got them. It's just for me, they're going to be a little bit more trickier to display in my room. Whereas the puck, I can put in the case easily. And the mini stick, I'm sure I can hang that in my room some way on the wall. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Clark MacArthur I've been a fan for for a while. It's sad to see his career had to pretty much end on the ice due to injury. And Colin White's a young player, so that's pretty awesome that I got a young player's signature. I was hoping for a rookie, but I wasn't having my hopes up just because I doubt that they were going to have rookies in this whole thing. I really, really, really wanted either Daniel Alfredson, Chris Phillips, or Chris Neal. But the fact that I got four items is awesome and I'm highly impressed. Comment down below which of these four items is your favorite. Like I said, I think the puck and the mini stick are my favorites just because they're going to be easier for me to display for my collection. But I still love the hats as well. Comment down below if your hockey team does the same thing or something similar. Maybe they have a foundation where they sell memorabilia to help raise funds for the organization. I'm really happy with this, as you can tell. So I am gonna leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.